What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am very excited to announce my giveaway after a few months and I do apologize that it took so long. But this device came to me about three days ago and it is called the Yumi Crystal. It came from Kulikul.com. Now unfortunately you guys, you know that this device has been in the market now for over two months, almost two months and a half. And for that reason, I contacted Kulikul myself and I said, I'm sorry, this device is quite outdated. I mean, in the YouTube YouTuber world when a device is more than two weeks old um, or two weeks that has been in the market it is a little bit too late for a youtuber to complete a video because the views are just not really worth it but then I came with the idea to just do a giveaway for you guys and again this is the Yumi crystal and of course like many Chinese devices it has its pros and cons and one of the cons is that as you guys can tell from that picture it does look like a true bezel display but once we get inside of the box everything changes quite dramatically and this is something that I don't like about this device. I mean, don't take me wrong in terms of durability, in terms of software and hardware, it's a very good device. But now when it comes to the bezels, they're not going to be exactly as displayed here from the box. So yes, we do have the Yumi DG logo on there on the bottom says Crystal with the website. Um, also on the side here, we got the Yumi DG logo and the same thing goes here on the right side of the box. On the back side, we can see that this is a dual camera device and it comes with LED flash and also a fingerprint scanner, very common on most Chinese devices. On the top of the box here, we have some of the uh, specifications of the phone. The CPU is the MTK 6750T. It is octa core clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. It comes with the Android Nougat 7.0, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal memory, and you can upgrade it with a TF card. It is a dual SIM, dual standby device, and both of the SIM cards are going to be nano size. We have a 3000 milliamp battery. The display is a 5.5 inch Full HD display uh, with a resolution of 1920, by 1080 made by Sharp, so the colors are going to be very nice and saturated, even though it is not an AMOLED display. Uh, we also have, again, on the back, a 13 megapixel sensor and a 5 megapixel sensor camera, and then on the front side, we're going to have a 5 megapixel sensor uh, front shooter. So then the bands here are also a little bit of a disappointment for me, at least here in Florida, as I am not going to get 3G connectivity nor 4G LTE because I need for 3G the band 850 and as you guys can tell it is not supported and for 4G LTE I need band 4, band 7 and band 12 in Florida. Again this can change uh, from state to state so please don't comment below saying Jay you're wrong about the bands. Uh, you don't need band 12 but yes here in Florida I do need band 12 and unfortunately it is not working. Now um, it does support band 20, I think it supports band 4 and also band 7 but they did skip band 12 and for that reason I'm not getting 4G LTE once again. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and unbox it really quickly and by the way, to get into the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll be repeating these um, requirements over and over during the video. So anyways, here we have the device. You guys have seen it on other great videos that many of my friends have made. And yes, here we have the front display. And like I said before, guys, the picture shows something very different to what we get here. These are all bezels, what you guys are seeing around the body of the screen on the front side. Uh, we do have there the front facing camera on the bottom side, just like the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. As you guys know, I did unbox and gave you guys the hands on of this great device. And this is a very nice looking phone as well, but yes, the price is quite different. I mean, this one is about $700, and this one here is about $145. So on the side here, we got the volume rockers up and down with the power key, and this is the metallic frame. Then on the top here, we have what appears to be an IR blaster, even though we don't have a remote app on the uh, device itself. We have the headphone jack, something that is vanishing on almost every single flagship coming out in 2017. Uh, we do have here the same tray, Again, it is a dual SIM, dual standby device, and you can also upgrade the memory from the 64 that comes included inside of the phone. On the bottom here, we have the microphone as well as the loudspeaker and the USB Type-C port. On the back side here, again, we have the dual cameras. One is a 13 megapixel sensor, which is the one on the top, and the one on the bottom is a 5 megapixel sensor. We have the LED flash, the fingerprint scanner, in which, by the way, works very well. And then on the bottom here, it says Yumi DG, designed by Yumi DG, Android smartphone assembled in China. All right guys, so now that we know what the phone looks like physically, let me go ahead and set it aside. By the way, this is the case that came included with the phone and it comes installed already. So that's kind of neat. 
Then inside of the box here, opening this divider, we will find the manuals as usual, something that nobody reads nowadays. So we got the SIM injector tool right there and the manuals are in English. And we also have a screen protector as you guys can tell right here. Uh, next, inside of the box, we have the USB cable and it is the USB type C of course. Uh, then lastly, we have the charger and they send the European kind. This is just a standard one. It doesn't include the fast charging capabilities, but keep in mind that we are only paying $145 for this device. But to be honest with you guys, this charger, I don't think it's going to be great for the Umidigi Crystal due to the fact that well, we have a 3000 million battery um, using a simple charger here. So it's going to take about two hours and a half to charge completely versus about 50 minutes to 45 minutes if you had a fast charger. So that makes a big difference. But anyways, this is all we get here for the accessories. We don't get any earphones or anything of that nature. So setting this aside, let's go ahead here and turn on the Yumi DG Crystal and talk more about it. So as you guys can tell, I had to connect the charger on the Yumi Crystal and that's because of the fact that I forgot to charge it before completing this video. I was using it and I totally forgot that it died uh, last night actually. I was using it in my living room and I totally forgot about it so I do apologize guys. But anyways, I want to take this opportunity to let you know that I use the DB Power Jump Starter that I got directly from Amazon and I got it via the Prime service. This is an 18,000 milliamp power bank and let me tell you guys it is absolutely amazing again you can use it as a jump starter just like the ones that you guys have seen in my channel in the past and this one is just absolutely great i used it during hurricane irma and it worked absolutely flawlessly it's the best investment i ever made and if i'm not mistaken it's about 50 or 60 dollars but it is the best money spent and this time we have a digital screen right there that will tell you what's the battery status and it is a lot more accurate than other power banks that i have own in the past so in case you guys are interested I have left the link below so that way you can go ahead and check it out so anyways let's go ahead and get this thing started here and see if it has any juice right now uh, it has been charging now for a few minutes and there we can see the Yumi DG logo and as I was explaining before the screen protector installed on this device in which I want to keep on because whoever gets it I want them to get it as brand new condition so I don't want to take it off but anyways guys it does have thick bezels here around the screen and this is very disappointing because if you look at the box it doesn't show any bezels on the side okay so here we have a total different story I mean even if you compare them with the box, you guys can tell that they don't look alike. This one looks a little bit longer, just like the Samsung Galaxy S8. And yes, it doesn't look like a one-to-one -to, -one to the picture. So I was a little bit disappointed about it. But again, when it comes to the software and also the hardware is amazing. Again, it has a pretty decent octa-core processor and I believe the GPU is the Mali T880. So it is also very good for gaming. It comes already with the Play Store installed on here so you don't have to worry about um, you know, rooting the phone or hacking the phone in order to get it on here and it's very quick and responsive. Right now, I am connected here to the Wi-Fi. You guys can see that everything is working well. Let's go here into settings and now let's go here into uh, storage. That way you guys can see all the RAM available on here. So we got the internal memory, it is 64 gigabytes, okay? And if you go back here, you're going to see, let me just click back again, I do apologize for this. So if you go here into memory, this is where we're going to find the RAM. And again, it has four gigabytes. And out of the four, it has 2.7 free right now. Uh, so here we have the UI. It is almost a clean UI and it is very snappy. I don't have any complaints whatsoever about this particular model. Here we got the app drawer and it does support wireless updates. So yes, I mean, you guys have seen many reviews about this unit and the main complaint so far that many people have is the fact that it is not a true bezel-less display, but it is still very nice. It looks very elegant and it is very comfortable to hold in the hands. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, the bezels look almost identical here to my Yumi, I'm sorry, to my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. I do apologize for the mistake there. But if you look here at the bezels, let me just go ahead and remove here the, um, cover okay and we compare them you guys can see that the bezels are almost identical here with the Mi Mix 2 okay 
So again, the Mi Mix, it is not a true bezel-less phone, as we know already. And with this being said, I think we have completed here the unboxing and the quick hands-on of the Yumi Crystal that I got directly from Coolicool.com. And again, guys, to qualify for the giveaway, you must like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and also subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember, the more active you stay in my channel, the better chances you have of me noticing you, and the greater the chances are of winning a device like the Yumi Crystal. So I do appreciate you guys supporting my channel. You have no idea, but I do need more subscribers and I need them fast. So with this being said, if you guys have any questions, just comment below, like this video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.